welcome back to my channel so on today's video i'll be showing you how i made this mono strap top keep on watching well as you can see i have my pattern paper folded into half so what you're going to need for this tutorial is the tape marker a curve ruler and a straight ruler so let's start first of all i'm just gonna make a straight horizontal line for the shoulder line so i'm marking this point as the shoulder line and from the shoulder line i'm going to measure all the vertical points i need for this top so i'm just gonna mark the bust which is 10 and from the bust i'm gonna measure eight inches so in total i have 18 inches from the shoulder line to the waistline so after marking those points what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to measure four inches for the neck hole and i will make a curve I will join the points using the cave and from there I'm just gonna take the shoulder to shoulder measurement which is 14 inches and then I will divide it by 2 and then I will mark 7 so from that point there it's 7 so I'm just gonna go down by 1 inch and then I will join the points using a straight ruler like so so well now i'm just gonna make horizontal lines on the points i made earlier and from the shoulder point there i'm just gonna measure my armhole so for my armhole i measured eight inches so this is the half circumference of my armhole and then i will join into the shoulder line so well from this point to that point i'm just gonna measure the middle point so my middle point is gonna be four inches so i'm gonna make a point there from there, I'm just going to take my curve ruler and then I'll make a curve like what I'm doing. So, well, I'm going to go in by 0 0.5 and also make a curve from there to the bottom part on the chest line. From this point here, I'm going to measure my nipple to nipple measurement. So mine was 8 inches, so I'm dividing my 8 inches by 2, which I got 4 inches, and then I'll mark a point. And also on the waistline, I'm just going to do the same thing. So on the nipple to nipple measurement here on the waistline, I'm going to measure 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 on the left and the right side, and then I will join the two points together the one on the bust line and also the waistline so from this point here i'm just gonna go down by one inches and make a mark and then i will join the point on my waist to the marked one point under the bust So well from here I'm just going to measure my bust circumference divided by 4 and then I'll mark the point there and then on the waist I'm going to take the waist circumference divided by 2 
and also add the one inches i removed using the dart and then i'll just mark a point there so from here i'm just gonna join the lines together and well that's it so i'm gonna use the very same pattern to cut out the front so at this moment i'm just gonna take the pattern and then trace it out so i can and i'll be transferring all the points like the darts point but then the difference between the back and the front for the darts i'm not gonna go down by one inches i'm just gonna join the points together like i'm doing so that's for the back and also the front so i'm just gonna cut out the armhole for the front pattern so i'm gonna cut from the here to down there to the chest line and that's it i have my front and my back piece so well guys i'm making a one shoulder top so well what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a curve on the front pattern piece so firstly i'm just gonna use my pencil and then when i'm happy with the shape then i will use a marker and then cut out so after cutting this out i'm gonna place the front pattern on top of the back pattern piece as you can see and then I will just trace out the cave and also cut out. And that's it. Well, now I will just transfer the dots on this side to the other side. And also the bust line. So basically there's no need for you to do this i'm just showing you because this is a tutorial so guys i didn't add the zipper allowance here but then i will add it when i cut out on my fabric so when i cut out on my fabric i'm just gonna add two inches for the zipper allowance my fabric here so i'm gonna be using this fabric as the lining and i will use this fabric as the outside of my top so this one is the lining this outside of the top so what i'm going to do right now is i'm gonna cut out using the front pattern on this lining So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to place my front piece here on this pattern paper. Sorry, I'm going to put my front draft pattern on the lining. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to measure half an inch on the sides here so this is for the seam allowance because if you remember this pattern paper does not have the seam allowance so i'm gonna make a half an inch line here so on this part is half an inch and then on this other part here i'm be measuring two inches so 
front piece so the way i'm cutting out the front piece is the way i'm also going to cut out the back piece so i'm just gonna be adding only the seam allowance on the armhole and also the two inches on the side zipper on the zipper side And well, now I have my two pieces for the front and also two pieces for the back, which is the lining and the outside of the top fabric piece. And what I will do now is I will take my pattern paper, place it on my pattern pieces and then I will just trace out the dots like so and then I will just trace out on the back and also on the front piece And I'll go to my sewing machine and make a stitch here on these lines on all my pieces. Just make sure that your dots are going to be on the inside of the fabric like the wrong side. And this is how it will look after pinning down and also making a stitch. So I'm just going to show you right now. And well, as you can see, I'm done making the stitches here on the dots on all my fabric pieces. You see, as you can see, so I'm going to place the wrong side on the wrong side facing on all my pieces. And then I will make a stitch right here on top of on the shoulder line. And I'm done making the stitch to join the back, the front on the lining and the back on the front on the fabric pieces. So I will take the right side on the lining and the right side on the outside fabric and then I will place them together like so, right side facing. And this is to join the lining and also the outside fabric so this is how it looks and then i'll just make a stitch but before making a stitch i'll just have to pin everything down so it doesn't move when i go to the sewing machine so this is where i'll be making a stitch and also on the other side I'll make a stitch and then after making a stitch then I will turn inside out 
and that will be it for today's tutorial so thank you very much for watching so don't forget to like subscribe and also share my videos